Now I want to uh, address an objection that you might make to the, the use of mathematical induction to prove what we had uh, in the last couple videos. You might say, uh, look, my algebra teacher told me that there's a factorization of a difference, any difference of nth powers, the most famous being the difference of squares, but difference of cubes, difference of really any powers, factors, and you can look it up in any algebra book. x to the n minus y to the n is x minus y times this big sum of decreasing powers of, with decreasing powers of x and increasing powers of y. And notice the coefficients are all one. This isn't like um, uh, binomial expansion, stuff like that. They're all one. Okay, so if you just apply that, in this case, 7 to the n minus 2 to the n equals 7 minus 2 is 5 times 7 to the n minus 1, which is odd, plus 7 to the n minus 2 times 2 plus and then all the other things um, are even. And so that's an odd multiple of 5. Done. Okay. That is a much simpler proof, except, um, and it's, it's really a, a fine proof, except it does really hide something. And it hi what it actually hides is another use of mathematical induction. Um, if you're going to be really careful about proving things, uh, that are supposed to be true for all n, very, very often you're actually hiding a, a mathematical induction step anytime you write a dot, dot, dot. Um, because let's think about how you would actually justify this identity. You might say, well, x squared minus y squared is x minus y times x plus y. You can actually just do that out and do four steps and see that it cancels and you're done. And x cubed minus y cubed it says that that's x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. You can actually do that out explicitly, and you get some cancellations, and you get x cubed minus y cubed as advertised. Um, but you kind of want to say, and so on, forever. And no matter how many terms there are, it always works. Or in other words, sort of the dot, dot, dots, the pattern always works as you go. And that's, wait, wait a minute, that sounds like... Induct, it sounds like informal inductive reasoning and something that's crying out to be made formal with mathematical induction. So if you look at a very careful proof of something like this, it's almost always going to involve mathematical induction. Um, now, with these things, the pattern, it, it, we, we've shown, when you write this out, the pattern becomes extremely obvious, and it seems almost impossible that it wouldn't work as n goes to four, five, six, a billion, a trillion, a trillion to the trillionth power, something like that. Um, and so it's not something that almost anybody would actually write down an inductive proof of. But if you actually actually were writing down like a you know, sort of mathematical logic class and saying, okay, can we be 100% sure of this? Then it's exactly the kind of thing you'd write down with induction. So let me go ahead and show um, not the most careful proof of it with induction, but I might as well since I've advertised you can prove it with induction. Um, if you're not interested in, in the details of that, that's a good place to skip to the next video to see another sort of much some more concrete explicit um, you know, numerical example. But how would we prove this? Okay, so that's p of n. Okay, well, p of 1 just says x minus y equals, and if you look at p of 1 here, it's just x to the 0 and nothing else, so it's just saying x minus y is itself. Often the base case is really dorky. It's just, it's often trivial. Okay, so now we assume p of k and so we're assuming that x to the k, oops, no, there's no minus there, minus y to the k is equal to x minus y, x to the k minus 1, plus x to the k minus 2y, plus all the way to y to the k minus 1. Okay. That's not coming out too well. There's a, so a k minus 1 there. Okay. And now to show for the inductive step is that we can get to the next guy. Okay. So we want to show that xk plus 1 minus yk plus 1 equals x minus y. Now everybody, all the k's get bumped up. x to the k plus x to the k minus 1y plus all the way to the y to the k, just y to the k. Okay, that's our thing to show. We don't know that yet. Okay. All right, so let's stop for a second. Don't I would you don't want to start manipulating this because that's something we do want to show. 
but it's because it's an equality, the most straightforward way to show an equality, it doesn't always work, but a straightforward way, is start with one side, do legal manipulations, and get to the other side. Okay, so let's just write it out, and it's going to be basically a generalization of the trick we used for the 7 to the k plus 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1. First, we're going to use the basic recursive nature of the definition of a power. That's a minus. And then we're going to do a little add and subtract so that we can get x to the k minus y to the k with a common factor. Okay, so we're going to, which, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, let's, I'm going to subtract off x to the k times y, and then I'm going to add it right back in. Okay, and then that's x to the k times x minus y plus, ooh, here it is, x to the k minus y to the k all times y. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna, okay, I don't want to erase my assu uh, inductive assumption. Okay, so, okay, hope you like the sound effects. Okay, so this is, I'm going to just reorder things, that's x minus y times, okay, that's an x to the k, plus, okay, now x to the k minus y to the k, we are allowing ourselves to assume that that has this factorization, so that has a factor of x minus y that I'm, I'm going to bring out, and then x to the k minus 1, ooh, and it's also times a y, so I'm just going to include the y, plus, and then x to the k minus 2y squared, that's an x, all the way down to y to the, that was a k minus 1, times y is y to the k. Hey, boom, that's exactly what we wanted to show, and we're done. So, the result is true for all n, in the natural numbers. It, one tiny note, our book says the natural numbers start at 1. Often they start at 0, but just um, we're going to have the convention in these videos that natural numbers start at 1 by induction. Okay, so that's kind of a generalization of that proof if you wanted to see it. So the bigger the bigger lesson I wanted from this particular video is that when you see anything that's for all integers, especially anything with a dot dot dot, um, the chances are that the careful proof of that is using mathematical induction. But sometimes the patterns are so clear uh, that people, even mathematicians, would tend to just not even worry about having to prove it by induction because they, they know that it's going to be true for all n, and they all, but they also know if they were, you know, backed up against the wall and said, "Really, do this carefully," they'd know they could prove it by induction.